Got it. Ah, uh, thanks for the loner. Have fun today, and Shimahara, you be, you be, you be sure to think about. Let it go oh, on the wait. date. Fuck. Yes, mother. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, she's not mother. your mother, you know. Seiko had woken up ungodly early and pulled my futon away, forcing me up with a chill and a sneeze. Futon. You have zero immune system. We both combed our hair and put on our school uniforms and scarfed down the breakfast my mom, mom made and then flew out the house. If we didn't Scarf. hurry, we'd be late for setting up. Uh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, things out of you looking pretty grand this year, too. Yeah, it really is coming together, uh, but I forgot I have to get the bowls from the prep room. Seiko, you go on ahead to class, will you? Roger that. Oh, and I'll take your bag for you. Give it here. I don't know what's happening. It's just going on on its own. I think I pushed a button. Uh -oh. Try Hang pressing on. A. There we go. There's a pus symbol at the top. Nice of try. I know how these types of games work. You press <laughs> A to put it in auto mode. It was the day Ow. of the culture festival, or Kisaragi Fest. Our school was a whole has a whole lot of history to it. Does, does, yeah, it does. And this festival has been part of it for ages. Every student like in the junior bodies. and senior high alike are but. busy getting ready for the festivities, which were due to start in around half an hour. I wondered if me I'd have any extra time afterward to check out the other classes' projects. We'd previously nah. washed the bowls we were planning to use and laid them out in our home rec prep room. With those bowls in hand, I proceeded towards class 2-9. Okay, Han, is was the R missing for anyone else? I think so, I can... Is this home ec? I guess. Right. Um, I climbed the usual staircase and headed toward the usual room, stepping carefully so I wouldn't drop any dishes. The plan this year was to host a red bean soup restaurant. I could smell the sweet red bean paste more and more clearly with every step I took. I eaten so much food at breakfast, and here we are. And here we had even more food rust rearing its head, but when it comes to sweets, I say bring it on. Morning, everyone! These look like they'll oh, be enough bowls for today, don't shit. you think? We're gonna have to flip. Good morning! Oh, oh god damn it, not her. Ah! Morning! Yeah, that looks like it'll be plenty! Is this the guy hey! who had one? Oh, nope, no, this is me. Morning, oh, it's him, great. Morning, Satoshi. Uh -oh. Here's you. That's you. Uh, That's shit, what voice am I doing for him? It was you, but passive-aggressive um, as fuck. It was just you. Oh, just so you. just me? It's just so just you. me in general? It is. Just you. Oh, fuck, now I've I gotta pick a different voice for him, fuck. It's passive-aggressive. Uh, Naomi. Passive. Hmm? Satoshi seemed to be out of sorts. He was just staring blankly. Was he still half asleep? It yeah, bothered me to see him like that, but I literally had my hands full, so I couldn't really dwell on it. I pushed on into the classroom. But I couldn't actually see what was in front of my feet, and I have to admit, it was kind of scary. It would be a real challenge not to drop anything. Naomi! Good morning, my dear! Seiko, stop grabbing my ass! <laughs> Haven't we already said our good mornings anyway? Buenos dias, Naomi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but how could I resist an opportunity like this? Naomi. Hands retricted. Unable to fend off my advances. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, I, exactly. no. Fuck. Look what you did. Top ten <laughs> betrayals in anime. Oh, no, that's no good. I tell you where it has to be kept clean. Guess we'll just have to go wash it all again. Here, I'll help. Thanks, sorry for the trouble. Oh, look at how cute they are. <laughs> and so began the culture festival. All day we wore the clothes Susan Moda prepared for us and served red bean soup to our classmates, schoolmates. She had a lot of costume experience, having worked on that side of things in the drama club for quite some time. She even did the sewing herself, putting all her practice to the test, and the kimonos she prepared for us were really were all of exceptional quality. So good, in fact, that they became a centerpiece for us, bringing in students from the junior and senior high divisions alike. It made for a busy day. When we weren't tending to customers, we were chasing after that slacker, Kishinuma, or taking time to check out some of the other class projects. In the end, not only did we really have a fun day, we also wound up being the most popular classroom in the whole festival. All in all, a rousing success. A rousing. God damn it. <laughs> Finally, the clock struck six, so here we go. And so, I have already penned the pentagram, guys! <laughs> as our busy day drew to a close, 
We all stood around talking. We kept saying we should clean up, but that kind of didn't happen. Before I knew it, there were only seven of us left in this room. Satoshi, the class rep, Seiko, Morishige, Kishinuma, Suzumoto, and myself. It seemed everyone else had already gone home. Our homeroom TA, Miss Shishido, showed up with Satoshi's little sister in tow, but they were it. We nine became the de facto cleanup crew. Oh. Here we go. And then I have the sacrificial go. dagger. Ah, uh, finally Ooh, done. Teacher. Good work, everyone. The place is looking like a real classroom again. Those dumbasses who went home without helping are sure going to get a piece of my mind tomorrow, though. <laughs> Not much of a class rep if I can't even <laughs> hold everyone yeah. together long enough to clean up after ourselves. Man. Though you did manage to keep Kishinima here, surprisingly. Oh, shut up! Boop! Fagar is here! Fagar! Suzumoto, <laughs> I just wanted to say it's been really fun having you here these last few months. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times your positive energy helped bolster my spirits. She can I go for just me? Uh, no, for me too. Alright. But it's fine. Always remember that you're loved and respected. We may not have said much to that effect, but we've all been watching you blossom here. I lent a hand where I could and did my best to help guide you, but ultimately you walked your own path and become a fine young woman. Uh, Silly. Oh. It takes a special person to achieve what you've oh, done without even realizing voice. it. Little oh, kid voice. wait, just wait. <laughs> just I want to die already. <laughs> no, it's no. an honor to serve you as your room, homeroom TA. I wish you all the best at your new school. Thank you. Unfortunately, this teary farewell brought us all back to reality. During the holidays following the culture festival, Suzumoto was being transferred. This was to be her last day at Kisaragi Academy High School. Everyone here loved her, so this was a sad occasion indeed. Just being like normal kids and hand your phone number. <laughs> yeah, really. Possessing no ulterior motives or harboring no ill will toward anyone. The thought of her leaving was just plain depressing. The time waits for no one, and sadly, the time had come to say our goodbyes. As one final hurrah, our occult obsessed class rep asked us to perform some friendship ritual called the yep. Sachiko Ever After! Here we go! It was all her fucking fault! <laughs> Back at it again with the Sachiko! <laughs> Back at it again at Sachiko Academy. Upon mentioning Back. it, she produced a paper doll from her bag. It oh. looked a lot like those proxy dolls you'll sometimes see in Shinto shrines, designed to absorb bad karma in somebody's place. Visually, this whole thing just seemed like a setup for a cursed seance or something. It is? Mm. It was kind of scary, and I wasn't the only one who thought so. Hee <laughs> hee. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Does anybody in remember how to grade. say it right? No. No, we gotta say it nine times. You gotta say Sachiko, whatever. I don't forget. It's been two years. We'll, we'll always be <laughs> friends anyway. That's the quest of it. Just, just of it. Just, I saw quest. That's the cisgender of it. <sighs> Someone you know, had to. I'm just gonna do Kermit for him now. Interesting. No. <laughs> it's much easier so, than Vagar. The universes are changing. Uh -oh. Yeah. No, don't do this, please. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> He just hit puberty when he left the room. <laughs> Seriously, don't do this. It's dangerous. Our lives are on the line. Sotashi. Don't question me. No, <laughs> seriously. <don't question> <laughs> yeah. Oh, skeleton. Oh, ner nerdy nasally. <clears throat> British. Eagle voice. Do you British. think that's going a bit overboard? <laughs> I'm literally, like, pulling the sides of my face to do that voice. <laughs> Hey, bada bing bada dummies. <laughs> Look, I'm not joking, I'm dead serious here. Satoshi had always been easily spooked, and in a true form, he was pleading for his life that it, we stop what we're doing. It didn't sound that scary, though. Stop! <laughs> Don't worry, Mochita, this isn't my usual creepy fare. I gotta say, it's rare to see you getting this worked up. <laughs> In the end, eight of us proceeded with the ritual as planned, while Sa Satoshi said it all to off to the side, tears in his uh, eyes. I kind of uh, felt bad for him. Oh boy! But this was for, was for Suzumoto. We all wanted to give her the best possible send-off. 
So all I could really do was silently wonder what had got into him. Please, I'm begging you, stop this. <laughs> Don't go through with it. Why would I want to listen to me? Don't do it! He's really serious. Like, as serious as I've ever seen him. What is this, Satoshi? What is it that you're so worried? <laughs> it's a time loop. This has happened before all of this. I remember it. That's And what's coming next is worse than any of you could possibly imagine. <laughs> Sorry. Out the window. Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah, <really. laughs> I'm through trying to convince you. Just be a good boy and wait for us to finish, okay? Sit your ass down. <laughs> no. <laughs> time loop. Is he experiencing deja vu like me? Is some new destiny being born inside of him? Like the, what the class rep had said before? Come to think of it, this <clears throat> does feel a little familiar. This room, this atmosphere, this charm. I obediently dug my nails into the paper doll, but all the while I was frantically foraging through my memories, trying to figure out what I was missing. <laughs> Everything. We're going to pull on it until it rips my apart into nine pieces! Know. You grab the dick! <laughs> he said this before. I know, I did that's what I remember. You said that. I said that last time. On the count of three, you pull the dick. With pallid oh! face, Satoshi quickly rushed over and grabbed the paper doll himself. He was joining us after all, it seemed. Everyone else smiled at him as if to say, finally, you've come to your senses. But I was start starting to get a really bad feeling about this. I gotta be consistent no. with the dick jokes. No, there's definitely something wrong here. Ready? Wait. Ready? One... Two, dick. <laughs> Let's do the time warp again. Yep, here we go. Here we go again. No. As soon as I reached the hallway, I fell to my knees with a thud. Ooh. Gagging Isn't and coughing. Isn't there a big earthquake? No, 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 no. What was that? A person? It was pitch black, but I swear it was shaped like a person. The school infirmary door hung open near me, and in my panicked state, I swore I had seen a black, shadowy figure within it. Mm. Oh. Nani? Oh. Nani? No. She's running away. It's currently frog here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Aw, oh, she threw up. She does that oh, a lot, yeah. though. Borf. Borf. My mind had been completely overtaken with fear. What was that? What just happened? That dark, misty entity came toward me and entered my body from every orifice. It came through my ears, through my mouth. I felt an enormous lump in my throat, blocking the flow of air into my lungs and momentarily teetering me on the brink of unconsciousness. I was almost killed. I felt as if a cold hand reached into my body and grabbed hold of my life's energy, turning all of my internal organs inside out and leaving me for dead. My stomach was churning, my bowels were on fire, my legs were all twisted around themselves. She's can about pressure... a shit fire. Yeah, I can't pressure alone uh -huh. disrupt the human body this much. <laughs> well, the answer the is yes. The flavor of my own gastric juice is still gnawing at the back of my throat. I felt like I was going to throw up again, but I held it in. You're old in the end. I remember my... this. This place. This These circumstances. I've been here before. I know I have. Oh, after no. performing the Sajiko Ever After Evil. ritual, there was a hellish noise, and then a huge hole appeared in the floor. And then I was here in the school. There was no sign of Satoshi or Miss Shishido or the class rep or anyone else. Only Seiko was still near me, collapsed in a heap on the floor. Bada bing, bada boom, please Seiko pick me up. Seiko and I explored the decaying building as best as we could, but there was no way out. Not a single window or outer door could be moved or even broken. Just as our last shreds of hope began to vanish, we suddenly heard Satoshi's little sister, Yuka, cry out from somewhere just out of sight. Where was Yuka. she? I'd... Sur huh? Where'd she even come from again? I forget in Who? the story. Yuka? The, yeah, where'd she come from? Uh, she was with what? Satoshi, and then she got separated from him, and she was with Kizami, who killed his friend, and was all like, you're my little sister, Yuka. Yeah. Okay, then. Kizami, I think I voiced him. He was a no, zero killer. It was, was no, Skeleton voiced him. It's was because okay. I don't even remember. Yeah, Skeleton voiced Kizami. Skeleton did it. I'd sprained my ankle pretty so. badly and couldn't walk very well, so Seiko went off alone to find her while I rested in the, up in the infirmary. Oh, I remember this. Oh. And that's when the dark, shadowy figure showed up and began attacking. Oh. I was so scared. So scared, so scared, so very scared. My teeth were chattering and my lips were quivering as if they had a mind of their own. 
Why would she leave me all alone like that? I told her I'd go with her to find Yuka, so why? Why did she leave me behind? Was I going to slow her down? Was I going to get in her way? Because uh -uh. she cares about you. Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? Seiko. You're just vomiting on yourself. Oof. She's always in the center of the screen looking like she hung herself. <laughs> what? Oh my god, are you alright? I'm so sorry I left you by yourself. Just seeing Seiko's face quelled my shivers. Whenever she's around, I feel so at ease, and at that moment I just wanted to cling to her and cry my eyes out. I should have just done it, but instead... Barf. Just leave me alone. Do you have any idea how scared I was? I... Oh. I'm so sorry, Naomi. Come on, let's try to find a way out of this... out of here together. What's the point? Just forget it. Leave it alone. We're never getting out of here. Maybe it was the safety of Seiko's presence that did it, but all the fear welling up within me suddenly turned to anger. I was like a spoiled child. Nothing good could come out of lashing out like this. Seiko didn't do anything wrong, I knew that. But I couldn't stop myself from saying what I said. She was genuinely concerned about me, and I'd sworn to myself that I'd protect her, but my sense of reason was fighting a losing battle. You realize we've gone missing, right? How do you think my mother's going to feel? She's going to be worried sick about me, and there's nothing I can do. Naomi, please don't say things like that. It's gonna be alright. Like hell it Calm is. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> She's going to keep searching for me until the day I finally come home. And she has work, you know. This whole situation, it's not right. As long as I'm here, I'm nothing but a nuisance to her. I'm a terrible daughter. And we're just going to die here anyway, so all that time she spends looking for me will be wasted. By this Incorrect. time, my mind had been completely overtaken. I wasn't myself anymore. I was running on autopilot, horrified by the words coming out of my mouth. No, I know how this ends. You're wrong. Incorrect. Uh. <laughs> Families aren't like that. It won't be a nuisance. It won't be a burden. And you're not terrible. I know exactly how... <laughs> I don't know how exactly to say this. <laughs> I know how, but I don't. <laughs> there are loved ones involved. You'll do anything for them. And I'll do anything for you. There it was bada again. bing, bada bam. Deja vu. Everything was falling into place. I knew what was going to happen. I knew what fate had in store if we continued down this road. Uh huh. But I guess I can see where you're coming from. Your mother is a really kind person. The last thing you'd want to do is worry her. That's why we need to make sure that doesn't happen. Right, Naomi? Uh -huh. We need to get back home. I don't know how it is you for you and your family, but normal people don't work that way. Well, shut up. No, it's happening. Don't bully me. Seiko's going to get hanged. She's going to die. <laughs> I have music. to apologize. <laughs> no. I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Please, Naomi. Tell me that's not how you really feel. Seiko. Oh, shit. Apologize. 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 If I didn't say oh! something to calm her down, Seiko would run off, and I knew she couldn't be by herself right now. So I pulled my la myself together and tried apologizing to her, but the words- Kill yourself. Seiko, I'm s- oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. Demon. The words wouldn't come out. As soon as I tried to form them, something caught itself in my throat. I found myself unable to breathe and doubled over in a fit. Is this Naomi, a bad ending? Uh, Are we about okay? to die? <laughs> Do we just kill ourselves? No. Boom, boom, ba, boom. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry, Naomi. If I'm bothering you, I'll go. I hate to leave your side, but if that's what I won't argue. No. Seiko. Should have reached out Wait. and grabbed her arm. Seiko ran off into the distance, her figure growing smaller and darker until it vanished altogether. Ah, out of here. I knew I'd made an awful, irreversible mistake. That sense of dread I'd felt moments before had come back full force. I could sense a male malevolence within me, an outside hand that made me lash out at Seiko. I felt like something was in my mouth. I had no idea what, but there was definitely something in there. I stuck my finger in and tried to dig it out. Uh-oh, oh, what is boy. it? Oh, boy! Ah, gross, it's hair! Uh oh. The finger found something and pulled, and now from my throat came large clumps of long black hair. Ugh. 
I just kept pulling and pulling. I couldn't believe how much there was. Then I pulled the head out. <laughs> the strand stretched all the way from my stomach through my esophagus and into my hands. And even then, there was still more to pull. The motion oh. was unnatural and was creating a repulsive, sickening sensation along my tonsils. I felt like I was going to throw up again. Ugh, gross. What the hell did all this hair come from? Was this all stuck in my throat? Uh-oh. Noni? It was only a faint uh -huh. notion before, but now I was certain. I was remembering some future event. I didn't know why or how, but I was repeating time. Am I just not allowed to apologize? I could feel a dark will guiding me. Someone or something wanted Seiko to be killed in this timeline as well. But I wasn't going to let it happen. Not without a fight. Yes, we gotta save her. I have to go after her. I have to apologize. I can't leave her alone like this. I ran as quickly as I could in the direction Seiko had gone, but then... Earthquake. A fierce earthquake had been shaking the building. It was so violent I couldn't even stay standing. I crouched along the ground waiting for it to pass. Everything was moving and there were sounds of objects cracking and breaking all around me. Glass was shattering. Ceiling tiles were raining down upon me. I was so scared for my life. So scared. So very, very afraid. I was certain I was going to die. Maybe a big chunk of ceiling would fall on me or the floor would open up at my feet and swallow me whole. I kept wondering how it was going to end. Was it going to be crushed? How badly would it hurt? How long would it be before I finally died? My head was swimming with all kinds of worst case scenarios while my body just remained motionless on the ground. I never felt so helpless before. Hmm. I didn't even care anymore. I'd take any release I could get, just make it stop. But there was no release for me. All I could do was curl up into a ball and pray. Because you pulled out all the gross hair. Yeah, really. Nice and the floor is broken. I wondered how much time had passed. It could have only been a moment, a few minutes, or even a few hours, for all I knew. But it did finally end, and the dark corridors were silent once more. Ugh. I gradually loosened my stiff body, and curling from the floor, blotches of dust and wood chips fell from my hair. Some of the finer debris had gotten into my clothes and he was crunching around like sand with my every move. <coughs> it was not pleasant, Kazoo tight. <laughs> I brushed Thank myself you. off as best as I could and slowly rose to my feet, slapping my skirt in vain to clear any away excess dirt or... Uh-huh. Can't read. Uh-huh. Yeah. The particles in the air were like a white smoke <laughs> billowing through the pitch black hallway. It took me a moment for... Oh, someone's calling me. Hello! <laughs> Howdy, pa. <laughs> Once I finally did, though, I almost wished I didn't. The sight before my eyes, it's uh oh. Wait, uh, I almost wish I hadn't. It's the sight before my eyes instantly washed away. What? Little... The earthquake had completely caved in a part of the floor. It was no longer possible to continue down this hall. No longer possible to trail Seiko. If I had been cowering from the quake only a few feet ahead, I'd be dead for sure. Swallowed up into whatever hell lay down there. Hmm. I knelt down by the edge of the hole and peered within. It was too dark to tell for sure, but if what I thought was I saw was correct, then the ceilings in the school were unreasonably high. To make matters worse, it seemed like the floor directly below had fallen out as well. I didn't dare consider just how deep this pit might go. All I knew was I couldn't risk falling into it. Shivering in terror, I pulled myself up. What do I do? Can I get around it? I have to hurry. Sick jump. I definitely no. had to hurry. If I didn't, Seiko would commit suicide, but there was still time. Uh-huh. I, uh -huh. I was determined not to let it happen. No matter what, I was going to save her. I was going to change her horrible fate. She didn't kill herself, though. That's the bad part. You Search did Search mode. What Search the mode? fuck? Me? Ooh. Well, this is definitely different. Are we even going to yeah. do like a top-down asymmetrical, or is it just going to be like I this most of the time? And it's I different. think this is a good place to call a break. Alright. What? Sounds good. 